Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know what? God will visit us in dreams. And he said uh, he'd visit, uh, have visions. Young men's I have uh, dreams. Old men's I have visions. Or uh, old men's I have visions. Young men I have dreams. In the last days. But you know what? And how many knows we're living in the last days, the last hours of time? Praise the Lord. But today I'm going to minister a little while out of Psalms 139. Praise the Lord. And it says, uh, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down settings and my uprising. Thou understands my thoughts afar so off. Thou compassest my path, my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but, O oh, oh Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and hast laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high not attain it. Father, right now, Lord, we just thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you and we praise you, Father, for each person, Lord, that is listening. Father, you see the needs that they have. Lord, if they'd be wanting under the sound of her voice that don't know you as Lord and Savior, that has never accepted you. Father, this is the time, Lord, that I ask for the convicting Spirit of God to begin to convict. And Lord, let them realize where they would spend eternity if they died lost and undone without you. Father, I ask, Lord, that you would deal with the heart. Let this be a time, God, that they would surrender unto to you because we know Lord that you said in your word your will is that all men would be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth the knowledge of the truth is we don't have to die and go to a place called hell because you've made a way out for each and every one of us Lord for those that need healing I thank you Father Lord that they you said you sent your word and you healed them and right now Father I just lift them up to you Lord let them call in Father God what need it is Lord that we can come in agreement because you said we're to agree as touching anything whatsoever they have believing and it shall be done and Lord we know that you'll do whatever it is that we asked you for because you said when we call you said you'd answer Lord you said you'd hasten your word to perform it and I thank you Father and I praise you Lord for doing the work because we asked it in Jesus name and amen praise the Lord he said oh Lord thou hast searched me and known me you know as I begin to think about this scripture I thought brother Jonathan how there is nothing that God don't know about us I, God knows the very thoughts and the intents of our heart. I, I don't care what it is. I don't care what we think. I, I, God knows our heart. I, I, we might be able to hide things from man, but we'll never be able to hide uh, anything from God uh, because God knows the very thoughts that goes on in our mind. Uh, and we may say, well, nobody don't know anything about it. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that God knows everything. Uh, and he said, the Lord has searched me uh, and has known me. Uh, and I'm so glad that he knows me. I'm so glad that he knows my ways. I'm so glad that I can't hide anything from him. My life is open before him. And I'm so glad that I can walk in his presence and I can say that he is my savior. He is my redeemer. He is my Lord. You know what? There's a lot of people that has received him as savior, but they've never accepted him as Lord. They've never allowed him to come and be Lord of their life where they go, what they do, how they act they don't want him to be Lord over all of their life they just want to serve him when they go to church when it's convenient when they don't have a problem, when they don't have no sickness, then they want to serve. Uh, they don't want to serve him unless they've got something going on. Got to have a problem. Got to have a sickness, or we'll never run to God. But aren't you glad that he said the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord leadeth us to repentance. The goodness of the Lord leadeth us to repentance. It says, Thou knowest thou my down settings and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. So God knows our very thoughts and the intents of our heart. He understands our thoughts afar off. It says, Thou hast compassed thy path, my line down, and are acquainted with all of my ways. Uh, there's not anything in my life that he don't know about. Uh, and you know there's one thing about it. God knows what's going to happen happen even in my life tomorrow but he also knows how I will react whenever a situation arises he knows how I'm going to face it but you know what he said I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you but he did say I'll go all the way with you sometimes I may be afar off from him I may draw back I may not obey him fully like he wants me to but there's one thing about it he's always there he's always 
always hovering over you. He's always trying to get you to come on in closer to him and to do his will. He knows everything about us. He knows our down settings are uprising. There's not anything in our life that he already don't know about. He said, for there's not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Aren't you glad that God's laid his hand upon you? Aren't you glad that he knew even before you were born how you would walk? He knew everything about your life and we don't even have comprehended in our mind our life and how God has laid his hand upon each and every one. You know what God's will and God's plan was every man, woman, and boy and girl that would ever be born would be saved. That's what he came to die for. But there's so many people that's going to walk, go on and do the wrong thing going because 